guest here put a fan TV outside the Riverside. 2 0 home win to Birmingham City. Here, JT. Happy tonight? Very happy, mate. You know what I mean? Very, very happy, man. 2 0, uh, professional performance throughout the team. And uh, very comfortable, won it in the end. So, yeah, man, very, very happy. Three changes here, Jay. Yeah. Did they improve us today, or do you think it's, was it just a bit of squad rotation? Uh, either on, I mean, it worked, didn't it? Either way, you know, back to winning ways now. Um, obviously, after the blip on Sunday, but listen, the boys have sorted themselves out, obviously, from that. Uh, you know, two, obviously, well, had a day off and come in tonight. Well, two, two days off came in tonight and professional performance throughout the team. No, put a foot wrong, and to be honest with you, mate, we didn't really get our first gear, but we didn't need to, do you know what I mean? We, we absolutely battered uh, Birmingham, and uh, you know what I mean? We all go home with smiles on our faces now, and uh, yeah, happy days, man, happy days. Do you feel as if it went a bit back to the Sunderland game where we went 1 0 up early, then Birmingham seemed to uh, dominate possession for a while? Yeah, it did seem that way, didn't it? Do you know what I mean? Obviously, what I got the first one uh, through, obviously, through my boy, Britt Sambalonga. He's, uh, he's making me happy, man. Britt, keep doing what you're doing, man. I keep saying this all the time. I keep doing what you're doing. Um, and then, obviously, after we scored it, it kind of went a little bit flat. And, you know, a few people were saying that they're a bit bored around us and stuff like that. But I think, but, uh, you know, it just, I think after we scored the first one, it was, all, it was always a matter of time before we got the second. Uh, you know, Birmingham, no disrespect to Birmingham, but, you know, they didn't really bring a lot tonight. No, not really any attacking presence. Um, you know, he had, you know, obviously had a big talk about Jota and all that. He didn't really live up to the hype tonight, did he, Jota, you know? Um, didn't think Birmingham brought anything. Uh, if anything, Borough just, Borough just dominated from start to finish. And I can't even think of a chance that Birmingham really had to threaten us tonight. You know, we, we Borough were professional. Um, and like I say, it gives us a lot of confidence tonight going into Saturday. Uh, we're hopefully two back-to-back -back wins. And listen, man, uh, I'm happy. I can't, I, can't, I can't stop smiling. Do you know what I mean? I'm very, very happy tonight. How do you feel, feel Marvin Johnson done today? Fantastic one, you know, whip it on the wing. Um, you know, he's he, 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 every time I watch that guy, I'm impressed by him. His pace is unbelievable. Uh, and obviously on the other side, you know, you've got the boy Stewie as well. And you see like, they're like both on the same page as each other. And, you know, Marvin was getting up and down the wing, putting the balls in the box and, you know, you know creating chances. And that's exactly what we want from our wingers. You know what I mean? We've been crying out. All season and last season, you know, you know, we want exciting players in this football club. We want a bit of flair in the football club. And listen, man, you've got it. Do you know what I mean? So, fantastic performance from him tonight as well. Very, very impressed by Johnson. Like you say, a bit of flair back at the club. Fabio's pass, a bit of Brazilian flair back at the Riverside. That pass for the second goal. Unbelievable, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Everyone's samba, everyone's sambering all the way home. I think, man, everyone's jumping all over the place. It was. Fantastic ball over the top, do you know what I mean? I think, you know what I mean? I think he's watched a few of my football videos back in the day to get that sort of pass off, do you know what I mean? Great ball over, and as I say, man, my boy Britt, the engagement party's back on, don't worry, Britt. It was off a few weeks ago, but it's back on now, Britt, do you know what I'm saying? But like I say, over the top through ball, fantastic, and then the finish was just delightful, wasn't it? I mean, he come running past us, and I know he looked me in the eye when he celebrated that goal, because I looked at him and I thought, Britt, do you know what I mean? You are the boy, you are the boy, do you know what I mean? Keep it up. It'd have been nice to have seen Britt go on and get his hat trick. Yeah, of course it would have done, do you know what I mean? Um, I feel like after he got his two goals, he just, you know, he didn't really have to do much more, did he? Do you know what I mean? He was putting himself about well, and he was getting the chances in here and there. But to be honest with you, it was just, he, you know, he got his couple of goals, and that was him happy. I think obviously it would have been nice for him to get a, to get to get his third goal. But thought you would on Saturday. I'm sure he'll get three. No, no, no problem. For sure, Bamford coming back into the squad and getting a run out. Yeah, I was really impressed by Bamford. Truth be told, you know, I thought he was running around well. He was. You know, every time he got the ball, he was going forward. I think he has lost a bit of his pace. Obviously, obviously, Borough had him three years ago. He's come back now, and is it the fact that his ankles are a bit knackered now and whatnot? But listen, he's still got it. I mean, he's, he was still trying to create tonight, even when he came on. And, you know, he's been out of the team for a long, long time. And I was good because Bamford was one of my favourite Borough players. Um, when he re-signed, obviously, I was buzzing. And the fact that he didn't really have a look in recently, do you know what I mean? It's bad for him, and I'm sure he doesn't have his confidence. But he came on, and like I say, he was creating well. And... For sure, as well, he came in. And that's the thing. I think you know, you know, there's a lot of, there is a lot of tough games coming up. Um, rotation plays. You know, we're going to see a lot of players come back in. For sure, Bamford, Triore will probably get a few more starts and Kalea, and that's all good. You know what I mean? But you know, as long as we keep these professional performances up, you know, we can't go home unhappy. Um, like I say, Mung got it right tonight. You know, good team selection. And for me, that was a very, very strong team tonight. And uh, like I say, we're going very, very happy. Four wins out of five now, AJ. Like you say, it keeps us in contention. Can, can you see us pushing for a top two? I think that's where we need to be, if I'm honest with you. Do you know what I mean? Top two is definitely where we need to be. And uh, listen, I'd be, uh, I'd be very, very happy if we do get top two this season. Uh, I think that's what everyone projected, didn't they, top two, or you know, to smash the league. Um, but like I say, um, very, very happy. And uh, I'll see you later, Birmingham City. Cheers for coming. Cheers for the three points. Up the butter. <laughs> <laughs>